Justin Melton here at the uh, Boyd Grand Nationals in the 2013 season. Uh, let's get business taken care of. Uh, I'm sure you got some sponsors you want to thank. Uh, in fact, this is a two-car team. Yeah, I'd like to first of all thank my dad's company, Protec Service Company. He's the uh, main sponsor out here, and then we got our powder coat, custom powder coating, um, advanced racing solution shocks, uh, Valvoline oil, uh, Siegelville store. That's pretty much it. And uh, so now when we get down to the racing business side of things, uh, tonight you're running without the wing. Uh, have you done uh, any wingless racing before? Yes, we've um, we've done actually a little bit, I guess for the guys around here, we've done quite a bit. Uh, we went and ran the TNT 410 non-wing stuff with our ASC S360 motor down at uh, HRP and then ran the ball with them. And then we've run the 305, I guess, last year at Cowtown when they, or the last year at Cowtown ran, we ran a 305 non-wing race over there and ran second to uh, Ramey. I see. And when you said HRP, that's Houston Raceway Park. So you guys do a little bit of traveling. You don't just stick around all the time in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Uh, two two-car team. Uh, are you guys uh, experiencing a lot of differences in the setup of the cars between the two cars? Yeah, uh, that's just mainly driver difference. Um, she doesn't really push hers as hard, so we, we tend to leave hers a little snugger than we do mine, and uh, it seems to work out pretty well. So tonight, uh, without the wing, uh, we talked to your sister about uh, driving the car and such uh, and the setup. You said that there is a little bit of difference in the setup. Uh, do you really have a, a, a struggle at all of any sort uh, going without those boards? How does that affect your confidence and all? Uh, for me, it doesn't. I would much rather run the cars without the wings. I think it's a lot more fun and a lot more racy, especially for the fans. Um, or my sister, she's probably a little more timid. She's not used to it. Of course, this is only her second year in the sprint car, and she hadn't she doesn't get to run every week. Um, but I. I I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be really fun and great racing for the fans. Now, will you still be able to pull off things such as a slide job and some of the other uh, passing maneuvers without the wing? I think you'll actually see a lot more slide jobs, hopefully not many that go wrong, but you'll actually see a lot more slide jobs without the wings. I see. Now, you live in Flower Mound, Texas, and your sister's been going to school. Have you been going to school at all? Uh, does that interrupt your work or your driving? I went to uh, I went to school right after college for two years, got my associates, and now I work full time for ProTech. Um, but other than that, no, I mean work work 40 hour a week and go out and work on the cars on the week nights and then go racing on the weekends. Have you heard how many cars have registered so far? Uh, I have not. I know we're close to 20 or 25 at the moment. Last night uh, at, at practice session on Friday night, I believe they had anywhere from 15 to 18 of them. So uh, we're expecting a pretty good field of them tonight. Yeah, I know we we picked up a couple cars. You, you, we picked up the 99 of Mike Herring, the 79 of Charlie, and I know we're we're going to pick up uh, Claude Estes and I think Colby Estes as well. So I, there, there's four more at least. Is this going to be your last race for 2013? No, we're going to run Devil's Bowl next week uh, in the 305 and the 360, and then I think we might go run the um, the show at Mountain Creek in November. Uh, still talking about running short track or not. There you go, folks. That's the word on uh, this great race team out of Flower Mound, Texas. Uh, you are listening to a broadcast by RacingWithNeil.com.